So, recently I have been playing a lot of Bubblegum Simulator and Pet Simulator and pretty much every single Pet Simulator game. Whoa! Guys, don't touch the merchandise! And because I've been playing so many simulator games, I really haven't had the time to play on Robloxy in high school. And the truth is, guys, I kinda miss it. Come on, come on! What am I gonna get? Ha! Oh, 20 coins, are you flipping kidding me? The other thing is that I actually still really like the simulator game. So what I thought I would do is take one of my favorite things, Robloxy in high school, and my other favorite thing, which is a pet simulator and bubble simulator and pretty much every simulator game, and combine the two. And, whoa, what the heck is that thing? Hello? What do you mean, hello, SpongeBob weirdhead? What the heck? Get away from me, you flippin' randy. I'll give you the left, right, good night. Anyway, today, guys, our mission is going to be to create a pet simulator pet inside of Robloxian High School. X-Dab. Anyway, guys, let's flippin' do this. And remember one thing before you come stepping up to me, guys. You can grab my merchandise in the group description down below, but more importantly... I'm biggest. Whoa. It's been that long since I played this game that they actually have your own flipping closet to dress up in. Like, what is this changing room? This is so cool. Anyway, guys, let's begin our transformation and turn ourselves into today's epic costume, which is a pet simulator cat, or at least a sim cat. I also have just noticed there is a ton of new heads. <laughs> What is that? Why have I got a crocodile chin? Oh my goodness, there is so many insanely cool flipping heads. Oh, I'm a panda. Nice to meet you. I look like a pea brain. So guys, the first thing that we need to do is start by removing everything we are currently wearing. So the way to do that, I believe, is to come to apparel. No, it's to come to wearing. What am I doing? And un-equip absolutely everything just like that. And now, as you can see... I'm a noob! Now, guys, the next step is to remove your noggin! So, the way to remove your noggin, guys, is to come to the head selection and up there, just simply search in the search box, headless. Just like that, guys. Remember to search headless, not head more, because you need no head, not more of a head. Next, guys, come to the right or left leg and simply search up here, core blocks, just like this, and equip the death speaker leg, which is this one. Do that for the right and the left leg, and you should have these bony little macaroni bony legs, just like that. Next, guys, come to the right arm or the left arm and simply search woman or whoa, man, just like that, and equip the left, right, and the middle body. Guys, if you want, I could give you the left, right, good night. That's what I thought, you flipping randies. Next, guys, simply come to this section right here because we're going to want to adjust ourselves. Start by making your head scale full size by dragging it up there and make your height and width as small as possible so that you look like a flipping baby. Now that you're looking like a baby, come to the color palette and select gray, just like that. Followed by coming over to the apparel selection. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. We need to start by giving ourselves a body. So the body I recommend is to go to the hat selection and up here, simply search Android like this, and you will see this ginormous, and I mean ginormous, Android head. Now guys, simply come over to here where you're going to want to change your accessories and you'll want to tune it or fine tune it by bringing it to the side slightly like that so that it centers with the body. You see how the body is now like in the middle, like stuck in the middle right there? That is perfect. Now we need to change the rotation so that the orange is on the bottom just like that. And next guys, we want to change the scale so we want to make it a bit bigger and we are uh, we can make it as big as possible really like that and we uh, want to bring the position of it down so it's pretty much touching the floor, but not all the way. And uh, then what we want to do is make it a bit less tall, just like that. I'm actually going to make it bigger because I'm going to make this time, I'm going to make the giant cat. Though it's going to be harder to see. Now, guys, right now you should be looking like a giant block, just like I do right now. I look like a giant block. We need to make ourselves less... What the heck is that? 
Is that a giant robot, Callie? Oh my goodness! Help! Help! Flip it! Help! Jeez, we managed to get away from him. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is make this full size and make it less tall, just like that. In fact, it's not less tall. That is the wrong thing. I wanna make it less thick, just like that. Let's try that out real quick. There we go, that is much better. We're already looking like the shape of a flipping cat. Oh my goodness, that robot is back again. Get away from me, you flipping Randy. Okay, we managed to escape. I'm gonna hide inside this tent so nobody can find me. There we go, much better. So next, guys, what we need to do is give ourselves a face. So this is the only way we can see ourselves by double-clicking and zooming out. I don't know if you can do that on iPad or not, but if you can't, guys, simply make yourself smaller by dragging this down, and you will literally be able to see a lot more than I can right now. So next, guys, what you want to do is give yourself some better-looking eyes. And this is really simple. Simply come over to the face selection right here, guys, and search iPop just like that or ipo and equip these eyes just here and as you will see there is actually a little bit just showing at the top there we need to bring them down and bring them to the front so come to the tuning selection click the eyes bring the position of them to the front like this oh, oh what am i doing am i a randy Jeez, guys, I haven't played this in so long, I kind of suck at making stuff. Then, guys, bring them to the front as much as you can without the glasses showing, just like this. And now what you want to do is change the scale and make them thinner. And then again, guys, just bring them out just so they show. Like this. Absolutely perfect. And handsome, too. I mean, look at me. I look so handsome. Next, guys, we need to give ourselves some cat ears because no cat walks around looking like that. Though, if you want to make a different style pet or you want me to make different style pets inside of Roblox in high school, then leave a comment in the comment section down flipping below. So next, guys, it's an incredibly simple thing. Like I said, we need to add some ears. So what we're going to want to do is come over to the hat selection or the hair selection. Where is it? Right there, the hat selection. And simply search golden cat ears or just search cat ears if you don't want to. And then you will see these cat ears on top of my head. We need to basically bring them to the front a little bit and make them fit the head. So to do that, guys, come to the tuning selection, click the cat ears, make them slightly bigger, but not a lot bigger, just like that. Bring them to the front, and then bring them down, just like that. And guys, you can pretty much play about with these to get them where you want them, but I think something like that is pretty much what we want. I'm gonna bring them back just a little bit more and make them slightly bigger. Uh, I think that will look better. And there we go, that looks incredible. Now guys, we're starting to look a little bit like a cat pet. I feel like these eyes need to go to the right a little bit. They look a little bit off-centered. So I'm just gonna move them over. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, there we go, that's much better. And now I think we need to give ourselves a beautiful cat nose. So the way I did this, guys, is to come to the face selection and simply search. Up here, mouse nose, I can't even spell, but just like that. And once you have that, guys, you're going to want to tune it like we have absolutely everything else. And it's kind of simple to do. Just, you know, find the middle ground and then change the rotation of it just like that. Uh, and then just bring it back a bit and then up a bit like that. And guys, if you want to, you can bring it more forward if you want the whiskers to show like this. But I'm just going to bring mine back just so it makes, you know, like a little nose. Just like that. And that looks kind of handsome to me. Next, guys, I want to give myself a tail. I know inside of the normal game they don't have proper tails. But I feel like it will make a nice little adjustment or attachment. So come to the waist selection. And over here, you can search grey cat tail or you can just equip it it's literally right there see and guys you can leave it like this or you can rotate it and play about with it i mean if you want you can just bring the position of it back and bring it down a little bit and then just change the rotation of it kind of like this and there we go we have a beautiful cat tail Ta-da! Now, guys, what I want to do is give him a face, and I also want to give him some legs. So the legs in this are kind of sucky, so we're going to get them out the way first. And to do that, simply come to the shoulder selection, and up here, guys, just search head row. And as you'll see, there's a ton of different available options. I'm going to equip the snowman head row, and also, I kind of want to equip the rocking head row, because it will make him kind of cool. Next, guys, we want to fine-tune these. I'm going to start by bringing these ones to the front, simply by bringing them down, just 
like that and bringing them to the front, making them slightly bigger and just playing about with the settings overall to get a much nicer finish just like that. And there we have our front legs. Now you need to do the exact same thing with these ones on his shoulders, the snowman skid row, just bring them to the back guys, it's really simple to do, just bring the position of them. So the first thing you need to do is make them smaller like that, then bring the position of them down kind of like this and then bring them to the back and once you've done that you're gonna have this beautiful looking pair of legs just wow now that i have my legs on fleek i think that it's time to finally add the last step which is a face and guys to do the face it kind of sucks there are a few available options but the one we're going to be giving him is a sad face so that is entirely up to you or which one you want to do i mean if you want to give him a happy face then you're going to want to use something like this guys and i'll show you how to do it so that you can use whatever you want but just bring it to the front because we're going to want to rotate it a little bit so we're going to rotate it to the back like that and rotate it down we're going to make the size smaller and we're going to bring the position of it down and as you can see that gives him a happy face guys this cat isn't happy in fact he's going to be grumpy so the way we're going to do this is by searching spy cap up here equipping the spy cap making the size of it much smaller just like this bringing the position of it down and to the front and guys eventually it will poke out just like this then simply make the scale of it much uh wider like this and then make it a bit shorter like this and then also a lot thinner like that and then just bring the position of it to the front and you're going to see it any second pop through now you can make him kind of sad or incredibly sad that is entirely up to you i also recommend bringing it down a bit i'm gonna make mine uh, midway sad okay he's only kind of sad in fact he's kind of like uh, uh. that is pretty much it i mean you can add whatever you want to your flipping pet but this is my pet why am i in the pet shop this is so weird what the heck how did i get put in the pet shop and how come you have a monkey on your flipping shoulder madam you're lucky i don't call the police on is that a dragon? What? Why is there a dragon and a dinosaur inside of this game and a shark? Oh my goodness. This game has changed so much since I played it. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Guys, remember to smash the like button to keep Shadow Cali away. Oh my goodness. Guys, remember to leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section down below for another creation you would like to see. And I, of course, will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. I need to get out of here. He's literally right there. Oh, <laughs> he fell on his face. The flipping Randy.